I'm going to show you the steps that I had to go through to be able to record X-Plane with sound, as you can see right here. So we have sound and X-Plane. And for me to do this, to do it live, to get a decent recording, I am using uh, Shadow Play, which is part of the uh, NVIDIA or NVIDIA uh, driver set. But initially I couldn't get it to work. So I'm going to show you what I had to do to be able to record X-Plane and get the sounds off of X-Plane. You have to uh, bring up your uh, GeForce Experience program. And the first thing you have to be able to do, you have to check this Allow Desktop Capture. And mine originally was grayed out and I wasn't able to check that. It took me a while to figure out what I had to do. But it's kind of weird. Here's what I had to do. I had to go to um, Personalize and I had to select an arrow theme. One of these arrow themes here. I just had it on a basic one. And as you can see, I'm in Windows 7. Uh, and I'm sure it's going to be about the same for 8 or 10. But after I selected this arrow theme, then I was able to go into the GeForce Experience and select Allow Desktop Capture. Here's the trick. You can't start recording X-Plane in full screen with Shadow Play. You have to start it when you're in the GeForce Experience window. You'd start recording with your F9, your Alt F9 to start recording, and the screen will flash, and once that starts recording, then you can bring up your X-Plane in full screen. The other way to do it would be to uh, go to the settings and rendering options and turn off full screen. So once it's windowed, then you can hit your Alt F9 to start recording, and once the recording starts, you can go back to full screen and your video will be recording. Now I've got it paused so you can't hear the sound, but here we got the sound and uh, with uh, the shadow play that comes part of GeForce Experience, this is the best way that I've found to record X-Plane with sound without getting very much uh, frame rate loss or uh, video degradation. So uh, this is what we got.